when the narcissist fails without you. Narcissists have a delusional sense of superiority. They think they can make it on their own out there without you. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They think that they can accomplish something without any help or support. But we all make faults or mistakes. We all fail sometimes. And when that happens, we own it. We understand that we are responsible and we hold ourselves accountable for our failures. So that we can then do better in the future. So that we can prevent it from happening again. This is a healthy way of responding to our failures, which then allows us to grow and succeed. But the narcissists do not respond to their failures in this way. Narcissists are very controlling. They have to have influence and authority over everything. They have to be superior. They have to be the best. So they cannot deal with failure. It will mentally destabilize them. It will make them really angry. They will scream and shout. They will become really defensive. It will mentally destabilize them. They will fall apart because there's nothing holding them together. They lack the strength required to deal with failure. They're so weak and fragile that they can't even talk about their failures. They don't want you to see it. They don't want you to know about it. They want you to think they're doing fine without you. Even though the opposite may be true. They are heavily focused on perception management. They are focused on influencing the way in which you see them and think about them. If the narcissist has failed without you, in most situations they won't want you to know about it. They will find a way to cover it up. To make it look like nothing's wrong. In their minds, the less they talk about it, the better off they're going to be. They're pathological liars. They will lie to people and act like it never happened. They will act like you got it wrong. Because they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to deal with it. If they are unable to lie, they will just act as though it wasn't their fault. They will say that something happened and that they weren't happy about it. But it was someone else's responsibility. They were not the cause of the problem. If they do make a fault or mistake, they will minimize it. They will act like it isn't a big deal.
when the narcissist fails without you. They will do whatever they can to hide it, to act like nothing's wrong, to act like they're so much happier without you. Even though their lives may be in shambles, They want you to think that everything's so great. They want you to think that you're missing out. They can seem so delusional. It may look like there's nothing for them to be happy about, but they will still act like they're living their best lives. because they're too weak to confront the reality of the situation. They're too embarrassed to own the state of their own lives. They'd rather just pretend. They'd rather play make-believe and act like everything's okay. But if you've managed to expose what is really going on in their lives and there's nowhere left for them to hide, they will be forced to admit it. They will be forced to accept that everything is going wrong. But they're not going to own it. They're not going to hold themselves responsible for their own lives. Instead, they will find someone else to blame. And most often, it will be you. They will tell everyone that you are the cause of their failures. They will tell everyone you are the reason why their lives are in shambles. They will play the victim and act as though you ruined their lives. They will say that you're the reason why the relationship failed. They will act as though you abandoned them, as though you left them without any help or support. They're never going to take responsibility for their own lives. They will recognize that someone needs to be blamed for it. And if you're not going to take responsibility for their failures, they will often find someone else to blame. They will blame anyone they can find, as long as they don't have to take responsibility for their own actions. When the narcissist fails without you, they will often try to point out things in your life, things that they think are not good. They will try to turn the tables on you and make it look like you're not doing well without them. It takes the focus off of them. So rather than you questioning what happened with their lives, now they're pointing out things with you. Even though you may be doing okay, you may have progressed a lot since they left you. But narcissists are experts at finding faults, no matter how great something is. They can always find something wrong with it because they see so much wrong with themselves. They project their insecurities onto everyone and everything around them. They could not deal with their own issues. They cannot deal with their failures. They're not just going to come out and say that they're struggling without you. 
even though that may be the case. They care a lot about what you think about them. They want you to see them as being superior. They want you to see them as being something desirable and attractive. But they also want the ability to withhold themselves from you. Because that is what gives them supply. If you were to know the truth about what is really going on with them, you would realize how twisted everything really is. Because really, they see you as being superior to them, which is what gives them the desire to demonstrate their false sense of superiority over you. If they can trick you and get you to believe it, it makes it more believable for them. It gives them supply. It makes them feel better about themselves. When the narcissist fails, they will often play the victim. They will act as though by you trying to hold them responsible, you are the problem. They will act as though everyone blames them and nothing they do is good enough. They will mentally destabilize and you will be unable to communicate with them. They have a need to be superior. They have a need to be better than everyone around them. They are arrogant and entitled. And they have been lying to themselves for a long time. Acting as though they are never the cause of anything. Doing everything they can to dodge accountability for their actions. They are shame-based individuals, doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. They cannot self-reflect, because then they would have to accept their shame. They would have to accept the painful feelings of humiliation and distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior, which is something they cannot deal with. They don't mind projecting their shame onto you because then they don't have to carry it. But they are shame-based individuals. Most of what they say and do is in response to their feelings of shame. It really has nothing to do with you. When the narcissist fails without you, they will mentally destabilize and they will often want to take revenge on you. They will want to demonstrate their superiority over you. They will want to be in an authoritative position. They would rather that you admire them, but if you're going to see them as a problem, they will become an even bigger problem for you they will make them want to take revenge on you. For not seeing them in the way that they would like. When the narcissist fails without you, they will try to pull you into their world. 
They will try to make you think that they're so much happier without you. They will try to make you feel like you're missing out. But this is all just to punish you. For leaving them or for not validating their false self. The truth is, in most situations, the narcissist is failing without you. They are miserable. And they're just doing everything they can to cover it up. Just remember when they were with you. How nothing was ever good enough for them. How they were always angry or upset about something. Yet they still try to portray this false image to the world. As though they were so happy and everything was going great. These individuals are pathological liars. They would rather live in the land of make-believe than to experience real life. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.